not because. So because for why? Why for art thou Romeo? Why for art thou Romeo? <coughs> Man, it's been a long time since I was at Northwestern University. What was that? 2004? 2009 now? That was three years ago. Everything, I think it was 2000. It might have been 2000. I think it was three years ago. I think the cast is three years old. Man. Three to four years. All, all that happened since then was in three to four years. Feels like a lot of happened. How long is a year? If we spend a third of our lives asleep, that means there's a third of our lives. In our entire lifespan, a third of it. We have no recollection of whatsoever. If we are if we are able to remember our dreams or what happened when we were sleeping those memories quickly fade into the fog of reality taking over, replacing that previous reality, that previous plane of being. And at first that seemed profound to me, but then I remembered, pun possibly intended, that over 90% of our lives, our waking lives, we can't remember. People greatly overestimate the capacity and integrity of our memory when really I can't remember what I ate for breakfast. I can't remember that guy's name who I met yesterday that I thought was really cool. Uh, I People can't remember things. Uh, similarly, I think possibly in the same respect imagination as maybe the mirror image of memory because memory is a mental a mental idea of the past imagination is a mental idea of the future the possible future the impossible future something that hasn't happened yet memory is something that has happened so in that way we humans stand straddling the fence between memory and imagination. The past, the present, and the future. We, I think we also, we marvel at our ability to imagine, but probably overestimate that as well in exactly the same way we overestimate the power of memory. Imagination can only go so far. We only have one frame of reference. So if you've only ever eaten one cake in your entire life and you think, wow, that's the best cake I've ever eaten, well, sure it is. One thing that I think people underestimate is the ability of the subconscious mind when faced with non-natural circumstances to make the correct and rational decision. There's a lot I wanted to say here. And a lot of it goes back to remnants of an existential meltdown, an old video I did from last year or two years ago. And part of the reason why it's difficult to see the subconscious mind at work is because of the invisibility of success of when things just work they turn to the invisible like the laws of the universe it takes a towering genius to understand these and to deduct these they don't they're not directly observable you have to deduce their existence just like the subconscious mind you can go through your entire life not realizing that when you wake up in the morning and you brush your teeth, are you really deciding to 
move in the front and do circles or get in the back and make sure you get those molars or the breakfast table are you really deciding are you really a free and active agent in the decision to move that spoon up to your mouth and swallow that cereal or when you pour the milk to pour that amount that you want and not pour too much or pour too little it all gets very strange but it works it works really well people put too much reliance people expect too much out of consciousness scientists believe that consciousness the seat of consciousness is in an area of the brain called the neocortex neo for new the neocortex is believed to have only been existent only evolved into being in the human for two to three million years whereas the rest of the brain has had the chance to be refined over hundreds of millions or billions of years the rest of the brain works great your immune system works without having you without you having to think about it you can go to the bathroom without having to think about it you know when you're getting sleepy you know when something itches there are thousands maybe tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of different types of pain to let you know what exactly is wrong the uh, what was i talking about i was on a roll there it was, it, it was sounding really good i think uh i hardly remember that's funny because this video i'm talking about how bad memory is i'm sure you remember because you're watching I don't remember because I was subconsciously decision-making. I was living in the present. I was just talking and talking. I was not imagining and I was not remembering. So it's hard to remember when you're not remembering. That people, yeah, people put too much trust in conscious decision-making when really it fails all the time the way we act ethically the failure to understand the long term and the short term this is why this is why i might argue the failure to understand act or appreciate long term judgment instead of short term now is probably the biggest fundamental cause of human ills there is well that's enough for now i talked about the past the present and the future what else is there but as always let me know what you think send me a youtube message leave a comment send me an email at mac.cast at gmail.com go to the forum at the castside.com slash forum send me an email will instant messenger message at nh2di4mk and if I haven't opened up enough avenues of communication, then let me know. Uh, you're also welcome to send me a letter if you want. Bye.